everyone. Welcome to another Mars video. All images in this video are sent by NASA's Curiosity rover. So, sit back and enjoy. This scene combines seven images. They were taken by a camera, on the right side of Curiosity's mast camera. These images were captured between 11.39 and 11.43 a.m., local solar time, on the 343rd Martian day, or Sol. This was just before Curiosity's Sol 343 drive of 111 feet. The rover had driven 205 feet, on Sol 342 to reach this point. This scene looks southwest. A rise topped by two gray rocks is near the center, it's informally called, Twin Cairns Island. It is about 100 feet from Curiosity's position. The two gray rocks are about 10 feet wide. This mosaic is white balanced, to show what the scene would look like under Earth lighting. This helps identify different materials in the rocks and soil. Curiosity found an iron meteorite called Lebanon. It's about 2 yards or 2 meters wide, from left to right. A smaller piece in front is called Lebanon B. The high-resolution images were taken by Curiosity's Remote Micro Imager, RMI. The color and context are from the mast camera. The images are from the 640th Martian Day, or Sol, of Curiosity's mission. Lebanon has angular cavities on its surface. This could be due to erosion along crystalline boundaries. Or it could be from olivine crystals that were once in the rock. On Earth, iron meteorites are less common than stony meteorites. But on Mars, iron meteorites are more common, probably because they resist erosion. This is a mosaic of images from the mast camera on NASA's Curiosity Mars rover. It shows sedimentary deposits in the Glenelg area of Gale Crater. The view is from Yellowknife Bay, looking west-northwest. Curiosity's science team estimated that the Cumberland Rock has been exposed at the surface for about 80 million years. This rock is in the sheeped mudstone deposit. The estimate is based on certain gases that build up when a rock is close to the surface and gets hit by cosmic rays. The mast camera took the images for this mosaic during the 188th Martian day, or SOL, of Curiosity's work on Mars. The 100 centimeter scale bars are about 39 inches long. shows a valley from the eastern side of a dune at the eastern end of the valley. Curiosity's team chose this valley as a likely route for future explorations. The foreground dune is at a location called Dingo Gap. It's about three feet high in the middle and tapers at both ends. It meets low scarps on either side of the gap. The component images were taken by the left eye camera. This was during early afternoon, local solar time, on the 528th Martian day, or SOL, of Curiosity's work on Mars. 
The center of the view is about 10 degrees south of straight west. The largest dark rocks on the sand on the right side are about two feet across. This view of a Martian rock, called Rock Nest 3, combines four images, taken by the right eye camera of the mast camera. This camera has a telephoto lens, with a 100mm focal length. The component images were taken a few minutes after Martian noon, on the 59th Martian day, or SOL, of Curiosity's operations on Mars. Rock Nest 3 is about 15 inches long, and 4 inches tall, it is near the rock nest patch of wind-blown dust and sand. This is where Curiosity scooped and analyzed soil samples. The mast camera was about 13 feet away when the images were taken. The image scale is about 0.01 inch per pixel. Curiosity took this image of Amargosa Valley. It's on the slopes leading to Mount Sharp on Mars. The rover is heading toward the Pahrump Hills outcrop, visible above the scale bar. This area marks the boundary between the Gale Crater Plains and the slopes of Mount Sharp. Curiosity recently crossed into this terrain and is now on the Mount Sharp side of the transition zone. The rock, Ithaca, has a rough lower texture and a smooth top texture. It seems to be part of the local sedimentary bedrock in Gale Crater. Curiosity's masked camera took this image during the 439th Martian day, or SOL. A black rectangle marks where ChemCam used its laser to inspect Ithaca. This inspection included the 100,000th laser shot fired by ChemCam on Mars. The 0.1 meter scale bar at the lower left is about 4 inches. This image shows a dune that Curiosity drove across. It was taken by the rover's masked camera on the 538th Martian day, or SOL. Curiosity drove over this dune three days earlier. The distance between the parallel wheel tracks is about 9 feet for scale. The dune is about three feet tall at its highest point. It spans an opening called Dingo Gap. This view looks eastward.
Curiosity is within robotic arm reach of a sandstone slab in the center of this image. The slab is about two feet wide from left to right. The team plans to examine a target on this rock, called Windjana. They might use Curiosity's drill here. The name Windjana comes from Windjana Gorge in Western Australia. Windjana is in the Kimberley, a waypoint location with sandstone outcrops. The resistance to wind erosion creates a stair-step pattern here. Windjana is in the middle unit, between the higher buttes and the lower rocks with striations. This scene combines images taken by the left eye camera on Curiosity's mast camera. The images are from the 526 Martian Day, or Sol. The sand dune in the upper center spans a gap called Dingo Gap. It's about 3 feet high. The near edge of the dune is about 115 feet from Curiosity's position when these images were taken. This was just after Curiosity's drive of 49 feet on Sol 526. The image is white balanced to show what the rocks would look like on Earth. The mosaic of images from Curiosity's mast camera shows the Yellowknife Bay formation. It includes sites where Curiosity drilled into the sheeped mudstone at John Klein and Cumberland. The scene starts with sheeped in the foreground and rises through the Gillespie Lake member to the Point Lake outcrop. These rocks contain ancient lake and stream deposits. They might have supported microbial life. The 50 centimeter scale bars in the image are about 20 inches long. The lower scale bar is about 26 feet from Curiosity's position when the images were taken. The upper scale bar is about 98 feet away. The scene is part of a 111 image mosaic from the 137th Martian Day, or Sol. You can see the foothills of Mount Sharp in the distance. this image has light toned streaks at the lower center. This is where Curiosity paused for a few days in September 2013. This stop, called Waypoint 1, was the first during Curiosity's long trek from the Glenelg area to the lower layers of Mount Sharp. This outcrop is informally named Darwin.
you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe.